What's up YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod. We are playing as Chile here, continuing our war against Peru, so let's keep it going. Uh, something I just noticed too, important to mention, uh, France is now at war with the Russian Empire. So that is really interesting and should make for a interesting outcome there in mainland Europe and late game for us. We're continuing to try to advance here in the north. Let's go ahead and attack with these four Mountaineer divisions like this. We're down to 172k in overall manpower now. We've taken 41k in casualties. We've inflicted 103k with the Peruvians there, which is awesome to see. Expand the arsenals just finished. Let's get the uh, yeah. Let's get the another the extra research slot. Another military factory now to plug in. So the uh, stockpile for the trucks is definitely waning. So let's go ahead and put in for that. Okay, so that should update our oil and rubber needs. So let's trade away for those for now. Let's buy it from Mexico. We'll buy two from you. And then rubber, where can we buy from? Malaya, potentially. Buy one from you. Okay, zero delivered from... Malaya here at this point, so let's turn that off. Who has some that's closer? Brazil. Let's buy it from Brazil. Nice. Okay. Free military factories here at this point again. Ideology has grown. Excellent. Let's plug this one into the gun production here. So that turns, uh, that in turn gives us another shortage in steel, which is just going to affect the convoy production right now. But at least the trucks are up and running again here, making five of those per day. Okay, uh, let's attack with this infantry division here. We'll send in these two infantry divisions to help. And let's see if we can turn that green really quickly, like going like that. <clears throat> okay, these Mountaineer divisions struggling over here. Fighter 2 is done. So let's take these three divisions, attack up north here. This guy's going to come help here. These guys need to continue advancing this way. All right. Let's go uh, flexible line. Outdated equipment then. We can immediately go to fighter two here. Let's get that, those up and going. We've got 50 of those to upper date. Okay, these two uh, Mountaineer divisions here can be used to help out. Go. Two of you are fresh. Let's add you in. Excellent. So continuing to move up northwards here. They're going. Yep. We've got the Peruvians retreating here. These guys are holding up pretty nicely. Nice, okay. Let's take one of these divisions, attack from the other side like this and this. That should turn the tide against them. Yeah, green 78 then. They're going to start retreating out there and like that. In fact, we can add in some power like this. Next military factory in and ready to go. Let's give hit to... Hmm. I think I want to give it to artillery production. We are going to be updating the artillery soon. 17 days to be exact. I've got one division here that can continue pushing this way. And, okay, perfect. Let's have this guy add in here. We're going to get to counterattacked almost immediately then. Perfect. Let's keep the pressure on this way. There they go. Peru. Taking all of your states. Hmm. Can't take them all right off the bat, so let's go something like this. Hmm. I have 112. And my turn. 
They've got rubber up here that we need to try to grab. I do not have enough score to demand this. Okay, we can take there and there. So we can secure that rubber. Excellent. And then we will take Lima. Oh, shoot. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Done. Nice. All right, Ecuador. You did take one state, but uh, you're next, buddy. Okay, we've got new research available here. Let's continue upgrading our support stuff. Nice. Okay. So that's good to see. The war with Peru is done. Let's go ahead and invest in... Um, trying to take out Ecuador here. Wow, they have a lot of divisions. Not a ton of manpower. They're at all adults serve. No, we're going to continue with the occupation here. All right, Field Marshal, get you going up this way, up along the lines. Your job is just going to be to crush up here towards Quito. Very nice, very nice. We hold naval superiority, so we're not going to have to really worry about that. Let's go ahead and bring back our Air Force here. Boom. Okay. Gives you a little extra manpower, about 2,000 or so. Military factories are full and working towards better efficiencies here. Making 66 guns per day. So those will slowly go into the front lines. We have 148 light, uh, medium tank threes in the bank. That did give us enough uh, army experience to update these. So medium there. We're going to go motorized, motorized like this. We're going to go medium there, medium there. That gives us a perfect 20. I'm going to add in support artillery. Nice, that new level artillery just popped out for us. So that unfortunately did not save our new changes here, but that's okay. Boom, 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 like this. Field hospital, signal company. That's 45. Um, we've got one more choice. Recon. Okay, that's how it'll have to be for now. Yeah, let's save that. Okay. So I'm going to start training in one tank company here. All right, cool. Okay, improved artillery. We need to automatically start getting those in the bank. So, we've got 1,800 of those to fix. And time for the new research as well. So, I was thinking we would swing back around here to the anti-tank stuff. Nice. What are we missing now? Steel. Let's buy some additional steel there. It does put us down to 15 overall here and seven working on these other projects. Okay, King has capitulated, nice. So they'll be finishing out the piece here soon. We're gonna let the manpower sort of recharge after this training here. They have everything they need except for medium tanks. So they need another 100 or so. They have everything else they need. So he's making uh, 1.14 of those per day at this point. They're saying, uh, my field marshal's telling me he has a significant advantage here against the Ecuadorians. Looking great though. New England capitulated then. 
combined syndicates there still have not finished off Pacific States of America, but they're also working towards the Commonwealth there. So new empires being formed here. Double checking. Oh, they have a faction. The Andean Pact. So, so... That's a little scary. Venezuela's in on it. Yikes. Lots of enemy divisions to deal with here, and... Uh, that is scary for sure. So... I think what we need to do then is, hmm. I think we need to cancel the justification for now. Oh, we never justified. Good, good, good. So, okay. We've got good close air support and fighters in the bank. We would need Brazil's help, I think. In order to get that done, we would also need France's help, but they are preoccupied with the war there in Russia. So if we take a quick look... Canadian-Danish War, Canadian-British War... Hmm... Yeah, this is where they've joined in, it looks like. Not necessarily, then. That's against the Germans. French Republic, Finland. So it might be easier just to go like this. Offensive war against the Germans, in which those guys have joined in. France and Britain have joined in with Germany there, of course. Okay. So how do we get around this? Because Ecuador now being in a faction complicates things for sure. The Andean Pact. Can't go to war with Brazil. They're too strong as well because they have Argentina now. We could try to look at fabricating here in Central America against Canada, potentially. They are uh, allied with a lot of folks, including the Russians. So that would put us, at, put us at war with the Russia, which is not the smartest thing in the world. Okay, we got the extra research slot done. The Australians coming through strong here in Florida. That's crazy. Yeah, we just don't have the manpower, really, to get this done. We could go up to service by requirement. We have to be at war for that. New uh, research slot, though. Let's take a look around. It is 1943, so I could go with the night vision. We do need to upgrade the field hospital first, so let's get that in. National focus, then industrial prosperity. Factory output, that's a great one to have. So let's go here. Okay, about to finish out this other synthetic refinery, then. Behind it, we're going to put in some additional military factories, though. So let's move these up the priority list. Like this. And this. Good, good, good. Okay. The new tank division coming out should be pretty sweet. Man, I just wish we had more manpower, so... Let's go ahead and bump it to speed 5 here while we're sort of waiting around. I, wanna, I want that manpower to recharge as quickly as possible. Don't think we have any other national focuses that help the manpower situation.
Yeah, this is all sort of sea and aircraft updates. Political power here. Commonwealth of Canada capitulates. Nice. Is there a national, uh, like a continued national focus to help out with manpower? I don't think so. Faction research, construction, repair, resistance, suppression, all that stuff. Okay. So I think the, lo the short answer to that is no. <laughs> Getting a thousand, uh, six hundred... And 70 men per month, though. Look at the Ecuadorians, though. They are weak. Maybe we should go back to fabrication here. And then save up and eventually... Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can do it. <clears throat> um, justify. Conquer. 125 days there. So we're going to try this. These guys are going to be done August 24th. Which is not too far away. It's only 10 days away. Almost have enough tanks to fill them up, which is good. Motorized is starting to stockpile even better now, which is great. Down to 11 tanks needed there. Upgrading our artillery across the board as well. <clears throat> so needing uh, 1,600 units there or so. If we take a look at the upgrades here. 10,000 infantry equipments have been updated. So about half of the force does have updated submachine guns, which is cool. Or AK-47s or whatever these are. Yeah, you can see they lack a lot of supply, so... They've turned up their conscription all the way to all adults serve. They have zero manpower. I guess they could technically go scraping the barrel. <clears throat> Five military factories, that's awful. So they're going to have a lot of problems supplying all of those troops. So I think we're okay. We should be really okay. Should be, is the key here. Okay, April 29th now. Let's analyze uh, Columbia next. Okay, they're sitting at limited conscription. They have a ton of divisions with extra manpower to help them out. Oh, boy. See, that's what's so scary here. I mean, we could take Ecuador, but we, we would have to set up like a defensive structure to hopefully bleed their allies dry there. We could call in France. Things going crazy over here. Hopefully they would send um, help. Okay. Let's go ahead and get, uh, do, do, do. Should we try nukes? It is May of 43 here at this point. We could go air doctrine. All right, let's update the artillery. 77 days there. Anyone else in North America in the third international? No. It's mainly just Europe and Britain. What kind of uh, terrain do we have over here? Jungle. I'd want a mountain range to sort of... Eight regular infantry divisions here at this point. Okay. Next, uh, military factory. Let's plug him back into truck production. Nice. Do I have any airports up here? I have this guy. We have some uh, French tactical bombers in there helping us out. 
All right, close air support twos. Let's put in 200 of you. And uh, hmm. I'm gonna want you guys to immediately help here. So close air support there. We're gonna need some more fighters to deploy those. Pacific States of America then capitulates. Down to 133k in overall manpower because of that, though. <clears throat> we may even want to look at going to all adults serve here. God, that hurts your uh, factory production so badly, though. Okay, infantry anti-tank is done. I'm going to actually plug in for um, Battlefield Support Doctrine here, 116 days. One more day here on the Recon Company. Nice. <clears throat> Let's get Signal Company up. No theorists. Still. So Industrial Prosperity is about to finish out. This factory output gain here would help offset the new conscription for sure. Prosperity done. Excellent. Workers on the home front. Get that going. Saving up political power. We're getting about a half a point of that per day now. Still looking good though. Still looking good. No army experience to invest. 56% training here. Nice, nice, nice. And the game is frozen. There we go. Kind of like to check out my stockpile here. Okay, so let's add fighter production. Missing some steel, aluminum rather. So yeah, let's try getting, nope, not steel. Getting some aluminum in. How many of those fighter twos do we have now? 189. Total, and then 65 fighter twos. Do you guys have an air force? We've got no manpower, no air force. No air force for you. No air force for you. Okay. So that makes me feel a little bit better. At the same time, though, there's not really any air bases up here. Air base. Let's build a level four air base here. Get started on that construction. So we can invest all of our airplanes. How about ships, though? Yeah. N one ship <laughs> for you. 15 ships for you, 15 ships for you. So our Navy is still pretty decent right now with new convoys coming out. Only got 96 of those in the bank right now. Support equipment still coming out at over 10 per day there. Up to almost 95 in infantry uh, infantry equipment production. So that's really good to see. 
Advanced artillery is still going up by a lot. Need those trucks to be nice and handy for the field hospitals. August 24th. Oh, I thought that was April 24th. That's why. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. Starting to stockpile the, the medium tanks then again. We've got 54 of those new ones in the bank. They have all... Yes, they have infantry equipment 3, motorized, etc. Medium tank 3. About a third of the way there in overall towed artillery upgrades. Over halfway there in infantry. Flexible line is done. Sweet. Let's get uh, decry or encryption rather here. New military factory available. Let's throw in for what? Close air support production. That works. So working on those new airfields as well as the infrastructure stuff. Looking good. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I just wanted to say uh, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you guys next time.